famous people, Isaac Newton. Who was Isaac Newton? Isaac Newton was a famous scientist from England. Some people think that he was the smartest person who ever lived. Why does a ball drop to the ground when you let go of it? It is because of Earth's gravity. Newton was the first scientist to understand this. He also helped people to understand motion, like how a soccer ball moves when you kick it. Newton invented a new kind of math and a new kind of telescope. Early years, Isaac Newton was born on January fourth, sixteen forty-three. He was born in a big house in England. His father died just before he was born. Newton was a tiny baby. His mother said he was so small that he could fit into a mug. When Newton was three years old, his mother got married again. His grandmother took care of Newton. He didn't like his new father, but when his new father died, his mother came back to Newton and his grandmother. Studies. Newton went to school from when he was twelve years old until he was seventeen. When he was seventeen, he had to go back home to help his mother. She wanted him to be a farmer. He did not like farming. He went back to school and finished when he was eighteen years old. Newton was a very smart student. Next, he went to a famous school called Trinity College in Cambridge, England. He finished his studies at this school, but. He wanted to learn more. Buying books, Newton really liked to learn new things. When he was studying at Trinity College, he bought extra books. He learned things in his classes, but he also studied on his own. When he was finished at Trinity College, Newton went back home. For two years, he bought more books and kept on studying. Most of the time, he studied math, but he also liked to look at the moon and stars at night. Newton, the teacher, Newton went back to Trinity College to study more. Trinity College is a very famous school. When he was only twenty-seven years old, he was asked to teach math at this school, so he was very young when he started to teach. Newton taught math, but he also taught something called optics. This is the science of light. It helps us understand things like rainbows. Students didn't like this class, so sometimes his classroom was empty. Light and color. What did Newton talk about in his optic classes? He talked about light and color. How many colors are there in a rainbow? There are six colors: red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. Have you ever seen a prism? A prism is a piece of glass that is in the shape of a triangle. When sunlight hits the prism on one side, a kind of rainbow comes out on the other side. This is something that Newton learned. And taught telescopes. Have you ever looked through a telescope? It is a way to see things that are far away. A telescope makes these things look closer to you. It makes them easier to see. The first telescopes used glass lenses. These are just like the lenses in glasses that people wear to help them see better. Newton built. A new kind of telescope. It used mirrors instead of glass lenses. The telescopes we use today are like this. Thank you, Isaac Newton. Gravity. There is a famous story about Newton. He was sitting under an apple tree. He saw an apple drop from the tree. He thought about this. Why does an apple always fall to the ground? Now he understood. 
It was Earth's gravity. When you throw a basketball up into the hoop, the basketball always comes back down. Newton also understood that the sun has gravity. The sun's gravity keeps the Earth and the other planets in place. Motion. Newton is famous for telling us about gravity, but he also learned about motion and wrote about it. Newton said that if you push a soccer ball, it is not hard to push because it is not very heavy. But if you try to push a car, it is very hard to do because it is heavy. He also said that if you kick a soccer ball hard, it will go far. But if you don't kick it hard, it won't go very far. Newton was the first scientist to understand motion. Later years, Newton was a great scientist, but he was poor. He did not make very much money as a teacher at Trinity College. He was asked to go to London to take care of the Royal Mint. A mint is a place where money is made. He did a good job of fixing problems at the Royal Mint. He started to become richer. The Queen of England knighted Newton in 1704. This meant that he could now be called Sir. Isaac Newton. He died in 1727 in London.